Hi, now we are discussing on the topic that is how to determine electronegativity of a group. Okay, so we have many uh, parameters, scales to determine electronegativities. So some of them as uh, Pauling scale, Mullikan scale, Alfred Rocco's parameters, etc. We can use to determine electronegativities of group. Okay, so now we are discussing this topic because we have a problem on electronegativity of a group in CSAR net June 2018. Okay, right. So join on Chemmasters Start Online or download mobile app Chemmasters from Google Play Stores and sign up to join a courses on CSAR net December 2018 and Gate Chemistry 2019 to crack from your home or by doing a job by just playing on mobile or laptop at your free times. Now, identify the correct statements about the electronegativity of groups given below. So just see, we have given with CF3 group has greater value than that of NF2 and whereas NH2 group has lower value than that of NF2 and OH group has greater value than that of NF2, CH3 and C2H5 groups have almost similar values. So we need to pick the correct uh, answer from the given options, right? Now, to calculate electronegativities of groups, we need to consider average weightage of atomic electronegativities of the group, okay? Right, so to solve this problem, we need to have the basic knowledge on electronegativities of the elements okay so that is we need to command we need to have a command on uh, electronegativities that is simply periodic table okay right so we come across on electronegativities of elements in our lower class or from our lower classes that is just like from our high schools okay right so now we just skip or we can if we neglect the basic level of knowledge on it so we can solve this four mark question on CSR examination because if we um, if we just uh, change the electronegativity values at least within uh, points then the differences makes to to make you to step or uh, to choose a wrong option to lose five marks in CSR examination okay so that's why it is important to have um, uh, complete knowledge on uh, every that means from bottom to top or advanced level on the chemistry and just remember so the the difficulty level so that means the difficulty level of CSR exam may not be increased but the competition is increasing more and more every year so that's why so if we see three four years back or four to five years back if 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 one crosses 80 marks on csr examination it is uh, so it is some um, a good score to qualify on of csr examination but now the cutoff marks just increasing more and more so it is nearly touching one um, 120 marks Okay, so that's why the competition is increasing more and more. So that's why if you have or uh, if you collect or uh, if you prepare randomly by just picking the videos from YouTube or something or any areas, so it may not help you to crack the CSR or get examinations. The competition is increasing uh, every year. So that's why uh, just follow a proper method of preparation or proper uh, preparation strategy okay so then only you can get the success okay right so now come to the uh, problem here so just see in CF3 so in CF3 we have four atoms so that's why so here we need to take one by four here and carbon electronegativity is 2.55 nearly and fluorine electronegativity is four and how many fluorines are there three fluorines are here so that's why three into four okay so 2.55 plus three into four okay one by four into 2.55 plus three into four we get 3.6375 
so this is the electronegativity value of cf3 now just check nf2 electronegativity here we have three atoms in it one nitrogen and two fluorine so that's why one by three into so nitrogen electronegativity is three and whereas fluorine has electronegativity four so how many points are there two so three plus two into four we get 3.66 okay next check uh, electronegativity of nh2 so before that just check uh, nf2 and cf3 here both are having nearly same electronegativity values that is 3.66 and 3.6375 okay slight difference of the um, second uh, point of uh, after the point okay uh, second is after the point now if we check these uh, electronegativities after calculating so we can simply eliminate the first uh, option okay that is cf3 is having greater electronegativity than nf2 so that is a sentence given in the problem so that sentence is wrong because cf3 and nf2 are having nearly same electronegativity values okay right next uh, calculate for NH2 here it is having three atoms so one by three nitrogen is having three electronegativity and the hydrogen having 2.1 electronegativity so two into two okay so one by three into three plus two into 2.1 we can get 2.4 electronegativity value for NH2 whereas if we consider OH so oxygen is having 3.5 electronegativity then so it is the group is having only two atoms in it so one by two into 3.5 plus 2.1 so we get 2.8 so if we observe these two nh2 and oh2 oh electro uh, electronegativity values oh is having uh, more electronegativity value than nh2 so that's why option b is the correct uh, sentence okay right now just calculate for ch3 here for ch3 we have four atoms in it so one by four carbon is having 2.5 electronegativity approximately and the hydrogen is having 2.1 electronegativity so how many atoms are there three so three into 2.1 so one by four into 2.5 plus 3.3 into 2.1 we can get 2.2 now calculate for c2h5 so we have seven atoms in it one by seven into two carbons are there so two into 2.5 plus um, five hydrogens are there five into 2.1 we can get 2.214 now just check the electronegativity differences or, or electronegativities of CH3 and C2H5. So 2.2 and 2.214. That means they are having similar electronegativity values. That, that's why here option 4, that is where CH3 and C2H5 are having nearly same electronegativity values, which is given as a sentence in the problem. So that's why option D is also the correct one. Okay, right. Thank you.